Anger over the deadly police shooting of an unarmed black man in Sacramento is intensifying. Hundreds of protesters blocked fans from entering a Sacramento Kings basketball game last night. They also temporarily shut down a public meeting with city leaders. It was held to discuss Stephon Clark's death 10 days ago. John Blackstone is outside City Hall with the latest on this story. John, good morning. Good morning. Well, the mayor was forced to end the meeting early out of safety concerns when it turned into a shouting match. The police department here has invited the California Department of Justice to oversee its investigation into Clark's shooting death, but that appears to have done little to ease the city's tensions. Stevante Clark led protesters in a chant of his brother Stefan's name just minutes into the Sacramento City Council's public meeting about the 22-year-old's shooting death on March 18th. Like many here, he called for an end to police violence. It has to stop. It has to stop. Good, good, good. Stefan Clark was shot at 20 times in his grandmother's backyard after police mistook the cell phone he was holding for a gun. Does this look, as you point this to our council, does this look like a gun? The meeting's overflow crowd marched to the NBA arena where the Sacramento Kings were playing. They blocked all entrances for the second time in less than a week. I feel powerful. I feel like we're actually doing something in this community positive. I think we're going to grow from this event, and that's what matters. Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn says his department is continuing its own investigation into the shooting and looking into whether officers acted improperly when they muted the audio on their body cams shortly after shooting Clark. He says the department does have a policy where officers are allowed to mute their cameras in certain situations. Still... Regardless of whether they were within policy or not, if you're already somebody in our community that didn't trust the police department, you're probably going to think, well, there's something shady about what they're doing. And that hurts us. Right or wrong, muting it didn't help the situation. It did not, correct. More body cam videos are set to be released. Those were shot by officers who arrived at the scene after the shooting. Now, it's unclear when those will be released or whether they will contain uh, the audio that was muted on the other cameras. Meanwhile, Black Lives Matter has announced that they are planning protests uh, every day through Clark's funeral, which is set for Thursday. Nora? All right, John, thank you so much.